This is Dr. John Tolson, and you're listening to the Disciple Making Podcast. I right, so we're continuing our conversation about uh, disciple making, and not just uh, meeting with somebody and giving them information from the scripture or going through a study and that it ends there but it's discipling someone so they are prepared and committed to disciple someone else. And you start with somebody new and it's a multiplication. It's an exponential factor that kicks in that takes the planet. It goes viral. So I want to talk about one thing today. Jesus again said in Matthew 28, go therefore into all the world and make disciple makers. So the question today is how do I pick people to disciple? How do I pick someone? So let me give you six quick points, and I think this will be helpful to you. Number one, you pick. In other words, I think if you look in the Gospels, you see that Jesus picked the 12 disciples. They didn't come up to him and say, can I be discipled by you? Now, let me say very quickly, there's nothing wrong with that. If people come to you and you do your due diligence and you sense Uh, that they are a viable candidate, then you take them on. But uh, usually what I do is I pick the people because I've been praying, I've been watching, I've been observing, I've been visiting with these people, and I have a pretty good feel of whether I think they're going to not only be a good candidate, but a good candidate in the sense that when we are completed with the process, they will continue on and disciple other people. So the first thing is you pick. Number two, pick hungry people. Um, If you don't pick people that have a thirst in their hearts for wanting to know Christ and to make a difference, you could be wasting your time. Now, people aren't a waste of time, but in terms of the goal, which is to raise up a team of disciple makers, not everybody's ready for that. So you want to focus on people that are hungry and, and, and want to make a difference. Number three is men and women who know Jesus. So what we're talking about here is picking people that already have made a commitment to Jesus Christ. Jesus lives in their lives, and now they want to not only grow and develop themselves, but they want to make a difference. And so you have challenged them with what Jesus said in terms of what he wants every believer and follower of Jesus to do, and that is to multiply to make disciples. Number four, I look for people that are fat people. If you'll, in your notes, put down F, and then right below that, put an A, and right right below the A, put a T, fat, F-A-T. F, faithful people. I look for faithful people, people that if you say, well, let's meet, and let's, I want you to do this, and these are the expectations, they're going to do it. They're not going to not show up. They're not going to come unprepared, etc. Available people. They're not going to make excuses. Listen, everybody's busy. But if you're too busy to do this, to make disciples or to be discipled, you're too busy. If you're connected to Jesus Christ and this is his agenda, we're here on this planet to do his agenda, not our own. And so I'm looking for people that are available, then teachable. I think one of the great marks of a humble but yet growing individual is a person that doesn't claim to know it all. They want to learn. They're thirsty. They're hungry. They're teachable. They want to know. They want to do what the scripture says to do. And then number five, uh, these I'm looking for people that want to make a lasting impact. They, they want to leave a legacy. And there is no greater way on the planet to leave a legacy for Christ than to make disciples who make disciples who make disciples, because that will go on way, way past the time you and I have gone home to be with Jesus. A lot of people will meet with you and take your time and enjoy being with you, but then will go do nothing with it. I call those people moochers. They're moochers in the body of Christ who want all the goodies, who want all the benefit for themselves, but they don't intend to do anything with it. So pick those kind of people that want to make a difference. And then finally, and this is the big one, pray. And then pray some more. 
and then pray some more for the right people to disciple. You think about that. Thanks for listening to the Disciple Making Podcast. Check out our website at thetulsagroup.com and sign up for my weekly encouraging videos called Red Glasses Talks to come to your email every Monday morning. You can also find me at Dr. John Tolson on social media. I'd appreciate it if you'd leave me a review and share with a friend.